Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be learning Ruby. Uh, we're going to be do doing it through Ruby cones, which is a, a koan is like a Buddhist way of um, seeing problems. I'm not sure. Define koan. koan. <clears throat> a paradoxical antidote or riddle used in Zen Buddhism to demonstrate the inadequate see of logical reasoning to provoke enlightenment okay so that's what a koan is so we're going to be doing what's called ruby koans uh ruby koans is a programming practice in which we do this so let's google ruby koans and then here we have it it's at the top it's rubykoans.com uh here it says learn ruby <clears throat> with the edge case ruby koans koans uh will walk you along the path to enlightenment in order to learn ruby the goal is to learn the Ruby language, syntax, structure, and some common functions and libraries. We also teach you culture. Testing is not just something we pay lip service to, but something we live. It is essential in your quest to learn and do great things in the language. So I'm just going to download it. I have a MacBook Pro, and I already have Ruby installed. Um, if you don't have Ruby installed, then this might not be the place to learn that but basically I downloaded the zip file here I have my download set to go to the desktop and that's why they popped up here and then I have the koans folder here I double click to the unzip folder to get my um, folder of un of unzipped koans here and so now I don't need this anymore but what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna do open up the terminal the cool thing about learning Ruby is you start to use the terminal. So um, when you're in the terminal, I'm going to take this just from the bare bones in Project 00, and then it'll slowly escalate until late uh, when we're doing more complex things with Ruby. Um, so I've got the terminal open, and I use a program called Better Snap Tool in order to snap my windows to the sides like this. Uh, this is an efficient way of doing things, because now I can grab my browser here and snap it over here. So Better Snap Tool is a tool that you could use if you want, or you could just organize your windows accordingly. So in the terminal, I can press PWD to see the location in which, where I am. And then, so that tells me where I am. I'm in the users um, directory and the silver sheep, which is just the name of my uh, username. If I were to list the possible ones here, you'll see that de uh, I've got all the main um, structure folders for uh, the, um, the sort of operating system uh, of Mac. And so I'm going to change directories into the desktop and I hit the tab key in order to quickly um, jump into the desktop. And now if I were to list out my folders here, I have a very clean desktop. It has the zip folder, it has some multimedia life, some code stuff, and then it has the koans folder because I have unzipped Ruby koans into here. And so you see it there. And so if I change directory into koans, then I'm in the folder, which I just downloaded and zipped. If I were to PWD, you can see we're in desktop, koans, desktop, koans. And now if I list out the folders, you'll see that there's a ton of stuff here. Now I'm going to use the text editor called Atom. You can use anything you want, virtual code editor or text file or whatever, whatever you want. You just replace the name of your... Uh, code editor in the next thing. So I'm going to say open and then I'm going to put a period which means open the whole project and then I'm going to say oh I'm going to say open dash a meaning in an application and I'm going to say Adam because I use Adam. If yours is virtual code editor it'll be virtual code editor or whatever um, but yeah I use Adam so and then I'm going to just do a period sign to open up the whole uh, text file. And so in this, it's got about arrays assignments, about arrays. You can see this is this folder structure here. And so now that I have Adam open, I've got, and I've got this guy open, I can run the koans for the first time. And the way you do that is you just type rake in the command. And then it runs the project and it tells you, uh, using test-driven development, what's working and what's not. Right now we're passing zero of 282 tests. Uh, we have... Uh, here's the directory to the file in which we're getting our first error. And it says, you have not reached, yet reached enlightenment. This is fine. They're not keeping track of how many times that you fail assertions. That's not a problem. It's all about learning with this project. So what you can do is take the folder that you're failing your assertions in 
and copy the name of the file and then come over here. And then you can press Command P in uh, Atom, which is just going to search for your uh, file names. And you can put about asserts in here. This is one way to open it up, but let's say you don't have that. You can just open about asserts, about asserts. And we know that, so we're, what we're doing right now is reading the error code and it's failing on line 10. So it's failing on line 10. And now we need to read this code. So we shall con contemplate truth by testing reality via asserts. So we have a function here called test assert truth. And we want to assert false. That's the code. And it says this should be true. Okay, so what do we need to do? Make this true. Cool. Now we're going to save this. I'm going to press Command S. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go to rake. And now we have one of 282 tests passing. Now that you've got the idea of how this uh, project works, we're going to keep moving through this function, finding out where the error is. So now we're at, at about asserts, so in the same full file, and we're on line 16. So we're going to come over here and look at 16. Enlightenment may be more easily achieved with appropriate messages. So here it says test assert with message. So we want to say assert false. This should be true. Please fix this. So we can make it true. And so what did this teach us if we think about this? Well, actually, let's just make sure we got it right. So I'm going to save this uh, folder, this about asserts file. It went from blue up there to not having a blue dot. That means that I've saved the work. And then I can come back over here and type rake. And now you'll see I have two tests passing. And here I had one test passing, here I had zero tests passing. So now you can see we're moving through. And we actually see our movement on this block as well. Whereas it used to be a simple red X with a bunch of empty space next to it. Now it's a green dot with a red X and then a bunch of empty space. And so we're moving through this process, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's go back over here. Enlightenment may be more easily achieved with appropriate messages. So what's the lesson here? It's better to use when you're writing code to write appropriate messages that make it so it's easier to find the answer to the problem. And so here, a simple string is actually a truthy value. And so we're saying assert that this is true. It's so that's a little bit trickier of a thing, but the whole idea is that we want to switch this from true to false. Um, cool. So now if we look back over to here, uh, we're seeing uh, about asserts is failing on line 25. And so if we come over here, 25. Okay, well, here's the function which is failing. So here it says, to understand reality, we must compare our expectations against reality. So test assert equality. The expected value is equal to blank. Actual value is equal to 1 plus 1, which is 2. And so we were saying assert that the expected value is equal to the actual value. Okay, well, we know the actual value is 2. So if we change the expected value to 2 and we save our work, perhaps we will pass this test. And so I'm going to come back over here and type rake again. And then we're passing three of 282 tests, whereas we would previously be passing two. And our new error is on line 33. And you can see the answer you seek, it says expected fill me in to equal two. Oh, that makes it even easier. So, okay, at about asserts on line 33, about asserts on line 33, we expect fill me in to equal two. So here we have some ways of asserting equality are better than others. Here the expected value is equal to an underscore, but the actual value is equal to one plus one or two. And we want to assert equal that the expected value and the actual value are equal to each other, right? Assert equal expected value and actual value. So except expected value and here it says expected fill me in which is basically this blank space to equal two and so if we change this to two and we save our work and we come back over here and do rake again I'm just pressing the up key to fill the word rake in without having to type it out now we're fit we're passing four tests and you'll see that we have a new error on line 38 whereas we were on 33 so here on 38 we see assert equal an empty blank space, which is rendering to fill me in here, is equal to two. Well, one plus one is two. And so they're basically saying, we should fill this in with 
number two. Now if we save our work here and we run rake again, we're having a whole new situation, right? Because now we've passed five tests and we're seeing, unlike null in other languages, what we're seeing is about nil is the actual the, where on line five is where we're failing our test. About nil is a different file. So we're actually done with this one and we can close this folder. So what we want to do now is find the about nil. If we come over here, you'll see that they're in alphabetical order, right? About nil is here. Open this up and now we're ready to work with about nil. And that's how I'm going to break these videos up. We're going to just work through Ruby cones in this path, in this system, in order to uh, get an idea for how Ruby looks. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.